What's up, T3? What's up, YouTube? Uh, it's been a while since I posted anything. This pandemic started, and I don't know, man. All my inspiration just went out the window. I uh, had more important things to deal with. I had a grain baby in the hospital who was born premature, and this pandemic stuff had a lot of people sick that I knew, and um, just had other things on my mind. Diff really couldn't delve into this. It was about five weeks before... I even fired a shot in a gun. You guys know, last couple of years, I went up to uh, Big Wheels Gunshot Residue and he built my custom Glock to my specifications, stuff that me and him felt like, you know, would make it better for me. It's a very personal gun. It's one of my all time favorites. Uh, and, I, and I was wondering, you know, cause when you have all this time and you're sitting around and you're trying to think of a good uh, some good project to put on YouTube, you know, something that nobody else has done. I was like, have I really built the ultimate gun, the ultimate carry gun, the ultimate combat gun, the ultimate uh, running gun, you know, a, a, a do-all so gun. That led me into doing a lot of searching on the internet and watching a lot of other YouTubers, seeing what they were saying was really you know, just blowing them away. SIG is really coming out with some stuff I'm really interested in, and I managed to get one of the uh, big SIG uh, Legions, the five inch model that had a red dot on it. I'll try to put in a little video uh, of me shooting that gun, and, and it didn't compare, guys. It, it just didn't compare to what I had built because this was lighter, I could run it flatter. And I was running it with a comp, with a Mayhem comp, and I'll get to that in just a minute. At the time, so the comp was making it run fatter, fat, flatter. Uh, I was able to keep rounds on target more accurately. And I was honestly shooting a trigger that I felt like I didn't like. Uh, when Will built the gun, he built it with a rolling brake, if you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, I've always been one of those that liked a, a specific break point, and this one kind of it kind of takes a little while to break, you know, it's, it's in the movement. It's not like a glass ride like I was always used to with a 1911. And anyway, one company kept coming out, kept standing out in all the reviews I've seen, and that was the STI. So uh, a friend of mine literally told me, brand new gun, he said, take this home, see if you like it, run it. This is the Staccato C. And when I got it, you know, it fit the specifications that I have been looking for for a long time. You know, a superb trigger, great sights, uh, lightweight. Uh, it had double undercuts. And with my light on here, I even had the accelerator grip that I had come to really depend on. And I didn't realize it until I got away from my custom Glock. But that accelerator grip, it's not that you hold down on it. It's that you use it to clamp to clamp onto the gun and control recoil. And I have to agree with STI's description of it. It is the best shooting concealed carry pistol I have ever shot. It's just as accurate as my red dot without a red dot. Now keep in mind, this is a duo and I plan on putting a red dot on it. And uh, you know, and it just, you know, it intrigued me even more because I was already shooting as good as I could shoot with this gun. I was already shooting with this gun, the minute I picked it up, I mean, literally, you know, it was it was that good of a shooting gun. And, it, it, you know, just one whole grooves at speed. But the capacity, the capacity is what kept me from really seeing. You know, it's a single stack magazine. Uh, it only holds eight. With one in the pipe, you've had nine rounds. It's barely what I've always said, the minimum amount of rounds you should carry. So I definitely carried this. I definitely carried this for about a month. Uh, I know you guys probably think I have 100 guns, but I'm not, I'm not that kind of gun person. I am a gun person, but I have a gun sp for every specific need that I actually use. And you know, I don't hunt like I used to. I don't I don't use my rifles like I used to. Uh, so I was able to move some other stuff around and uh, basically so that paid some bills and bought the Staccato P. I didn't think you could get smoother or flatter running than this right here, but with the weight, and the attributes of this gun, it was even better. And this is this is just, you know, like my first contact with it. I, I literally had it a week and I am just blown away. Took it to a class this weekend, but I didn't run it, run it. I let other people run it. 
because that seems to be when when the problems are around. But when I start giving it to people that don't know all the specifics and maybe are not as experienced, when you hand it to them and it runs, to me that's more impressive than when it runs with me. I'm telling you, this this gun is one of the best shooting guns I've ever seen. A friend of mine, a longtime uh, target shooter, uh, used to work for the Mississippi Highway Patrol, a good friend of mine, he shot it at 20, 20 something odd you know, yards, and I'm talking about just grouped up five, just beautiful, you know, and I was just like, wow, you know, can I do that? I absolutely don't know. I, I, I would like to think that I could come close, but I don't think I could match that. Not as pretty as he done it at the pace that he done it at the distance he done it. First shots out of the gun. This will most likely be my concealed carry gun from this point. Uh, you know, uh, am I throwing away my 43 and my SIG XL? Absolutely not. Those guns are phenomenal. But if you want to, to have a church security gun, that will give you the ability of a, you know, a full-size competition gun. My splits between these two, uh, it's, you know, it's, it just varies just a little bit. And that's unreal. That's unreal to me. Now, how much further is the Glock? Well, let's just say my splits have dropped by a tenth, if you want to know a specific number. You know, my splits are dropping off by a tenth. Sometimes I'm even getting a little faster than that, but you got to keep it in mind that I've only been shooting these guns during this pandemic. Uh, my, my round count's real low on these guns. Uh, we run this one for a thousand rounds, had four hiccups that I've seen. Uh, and since that thousand rounds and STI says to put a thousand round break in, I haven't had any malfunctions. It just runs, uh, performs outstandingly. This one from the box, I just don't see it messing up. I don't know what to tell you, except when you shoot it, the confidence is there. So I'm putting this video out there and I'm going to try to throw in a little bit of shooting of some of this stuff. I've got a little bit of video on the, on the P I've got a little bit of video on all of them. Um, you know, can you build a better gun? Uh, I don't know if people really understand how much money you can have tied up in something like this. You know, an agency like this, when you buy it, it looks so crazy high when you look at $2,200 for a Glock. And people say, I would never pay that for a Glock. And I built it piece at a time, buddy deal. I bought this used. Uh, you know, I, I absolutely tried to build it as cheap as I could. And I still have $1,500 plus in this gun. Easy. Um, this is the agency barrel that come with that agency, by the way. That's a beautiful barrel. Uh, and the... The comp that a lot of people just don't see the need in, in running a comp, this is what allows me to run with this. We're definitely going to continue to shoot this and see how it performs, see how it goes. A uh, 40 ounce, could I go to church with it? Yeah, I could I could probably carry it to church two, three hours at a time. And uh, that action is just, I mean, the first time I shot it, and you'll see the video, uh, first time I shot it, I pulled the trigger, I was like, I didn't feel the round when I first fed it, and I didn't feel the slide go back forward. That's how well balanced it is. That's unreal for me. You know, usually I can tell exactly what my pistol, I shoot enough that I can tell you when the pistol hangs up. I can tell you when it's, you know, not running as it should. I can tell you when that slide doesn't go forward, and I can tell you all the little nuances and the different way it shoots, because we shoot that. Uh, what would you spend to see your capability at max? You know, if you had nothing holding you back, if you had the good trigger, if you had the gun that could run it, if you had the comp that would keep you flat enough to see what you would do, you know, what What would you pay to see that, you know? Um, I, I'm just so thrilled with these uh, STIs right now. And I think I've, I've showed you the best bang of the buck, or I would tell you the best bang for the buck. You know, for me, it's always the Glock. And the reason I always go back to the Glock, it just becomes so apparent during the pandemic. I had friends who, uh, one friend that broke a striker in a Smith, and I didn't have any extra strikers. You know, uh, he had to reach out to Smith, and of course they're going to take care of it and they're going to get it fixed. But his gun was down through the ban through the pan pandemic when you couldn't find anything. I have reevaluated my needs, and uh, one thing that stands out is this Glock was absolutely the right choice, and to have a couple of them is even better These because they are so much fun, and I I'm so proud of them, and I like to be good with them. I like to see what they can do. I have spent the time and training time and uh, shooting time 
so that I can go back to a stock 19 and really make it run too. But, you know, that's amazing during the pandemic time. You know, if I needed an extra barrel, if I needed an extra striker, if I needed an extra spring, I have all that stuff. I have all that stuff. And maybe some of you haven't thought about it like that, but I've been telling you for a long time, you know, being able to get the accessories for a gun, being able to get the parts cheap is going to keep you running longer and keep you happier with that product. This pandemic has woke me up to some, some other problems that I've never even thought about. So we'll be, we'll be hitting those things in the new future in our classes as we go. Now this Saturday, we're doing our uh, basic course that you have to take before you take any other courses. So come out and see us. If you want to run one of these guns and you're in one of my classes, you bring ammo and you can run it. That's a cheap way to find out what you can do with one of these guns. God bless. Watch six. Damn, do you see this? This is what you buy when you buy a trial. This big ass smile.